Mm, hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel. And I'm Amanda from the Tianjin Tofa Electric Power Technology Cooperation Limited. And so what about today's topic? Today, so in our previous videos, we talked about the power transmission tower and the electric pole, which is also called the utility pole. Today, I would like to talk about the pole line hardware, which is the hardware used on the utility poles. So let's bring us to our first topic. What are pole line hardware? So like, let's look at this word, pole line hardware. So we can basically divide this word into two parts, which we can divide in here. So what is pole line? So pole line, which we also can can be called as electric pole or utility post. So it's basically can be as attachments for the cables that are used for power and communication transmission. So let me draw a very simple picture for you to talk about what is actually a utility pole. I believe that, that you have learned a lot from Lisa's yesterday's live streaming and you have already learned this application usage and different materials of the power posts. So I'm just uh, do a simple drawing to make a quick review of what is, is a pole line or we can see it's like the electrical pole. Uh, so my drawing will not be very complicated. So this is a power pole. Uh, you can see that it's actually a cylindrical shape. Uh, so here, uh, cross arms, uh, I'm just doing the simple drawing. So, uh, and uh, in here, there will be insulators, uh, which we talked about in our first live streaming show. I believe that you will remember that all this content, uh, but if you do not, um, understand this, you can to have a quick review of the insulators. Uh, and uh, through the cross arms, it can through the different conductors or the wires. I'm just doing the this simple join. So here I'm right here, the wires or you can see conductors or cables. Uh, so basically this, uh, this part, we call it uh, the utility pole or the electrical pole or the pole line. And we have to say the this word hardware. So what is hardware? It's just uh, the tools and components and, or the different parts, or we can call it as fittings or accessories. So in this context, we can see that the pole line hardware is the tools and components that are used with the pole to enable the, the smooth transmission and distribution distribution of the power and communication cables wires. So and uh, we we also have the different name to call the pole line hardware, uh, which include the pole line accessories or the utility pole accessories. So the pole line hardware come in different forms and play different roles in the aerial transmission and overhead lines. So the nature of your application is what will determine the specific utility pole accessories that you should use. Uh, so after talking about like the brief introduction of what is pole line hardware, that brings us to our today's second topic, which is the application and usage of the pole line hardware. So basically, these accessories can stabilize electricity supply and protect people and public facilities safety. So utility pole accessories can ensure our cables to run smoothly in the predestined position. And they can also assure the electricity current flow through the main lines, uh, like I draw here. And the pole line hardware 
uh, can also safeguard the passerby safety. Like if there are some passbys nearby the pole, the utility poles, and those hardwares can protect our safety. And the utility pole can also prevent the falling of power lines and to avoid the subsequent severe um, accidents. So this is the application and usage of the pole line hardware. So after talking about what is the pole line hardware and its application, we also have our today's the third topic, which is uh, the different types of pole line hardware, like what our company or TTF power system sell in our website. So basically, we have the 18 different types of pole line hardware. Um, and I will talk about uh, those briefly in about two or uh, one or two sentences to briefly talk about uh, what is those different types of Poland hardware. And the first item or the first product is a brisk cross on. What is brisk cross on? Uh, so brisk cross on is that it can connect the electrical cross arm by bolts and nuts. They can support the electrical cross arm and make the power pole cross arm firm. And the raw material of them is steel. And the second product is the extension line hardware. So what is extension hardware? Uh, that is, uh, that are components installed on the top of the pole line to provide the extra clearance from the power pole. They are actually made by adopting the hot, deep governed method. And here I have something to see that our company has the cooperation uh, with uh, the good uh, hot, deep governed uh, technology uh, makers and we just uh, have a master of this good technology so if you want the pole line hardware or we call it uh, the extension line hardware uh, you can trust us uh, because we just uh, a leading uh, maker of pole line hardware and uh, bring us to the third product which is gains so what our gains can do Gains can stabilize the cross arm. They are used for taking place the cross arm braces and pole gaining. And for its materials, it includes aluminum, ductile iron, and steel. The fourth one, the guide attachment. So guide attachment can fasten guide wires to poles. They accomplish all distribution guide requirements and meet all our power and utility needs. The material includes aluminum, ductile iron, and steel, which is the, basically the same material with the gains. And the, our fourth or fifth product, guide dead end. So guide dead end are applied to connect guide wires and grounding anchors. The tensile strengths are strong enough to exceed the rated breaking strength of the strand. And our sixth product is guide string. The guide strings are designed to separate from the pole to guide wire. They possess the high performance holding strength. And the for the seventh, it will be the insulator pin. Insulator pin. So insulator pins can support pin tap insulator on the power pole. Um, they are wooden or metal dowel of about 1.18 in diameter with screw threads. Um, and for the eighth product, it will be the luminary support. It's also one kind of pole line hardware. So luminary support is a bracket attachment to a pole from which uh, luminary is suspended. It is a fixture used to mount other hardware and equipment on different kinds of poles. And the seventh one is pole band. 
pole bands are accessories used on pole guides and insulator attachments. They ensure the various equipment to be easily mounted on utility poles. And the for the the tenth is pole dating nail and staple. So pole dating nail is a nail with the date stamped in its head. So it's just like you you have a nail and you mark the date on it. And for the pole staple, it's used to secure wire facing to the utility pole. And that brings us to our 11 products. That is the pole line construction bracket. So these are the tools, accessories designed to support other power line hardware. It possess two mounting position and it also can be used on the overhead line construction. And our 12 product or item, we call it as a post step. So post steps are tools for electrical maintenance. They are installed on power posts for supporting line smart work. And our 13 product is reinforcing plates. So reinforcing plates can support and provide a mounting position to other equipment on the line construction. They protect against the damage to posts and cross arms. And our 14 item is screw hardware. So screw hardware are common kinds of fasteners used to, to affix different materials together in power system. They provide insulation on job attachment. Uh, and the 14, the 15th is secondary rack. So secondary rack can organize multiple secondary wires to utility poles. They support the cables on an overhead pole line and tighten sagging conductors. And for the 16th item, that is a stainless steel banding product. They can, uh, they have various components so it can be used for affixing one object with another and stabilize all the items in the right position. They are just made of stainless steel with different thickness and width. And for the 17th, that will be the state rod assembly. So state, state rod assembly or the can be also called as state sets are used to, to connect the state wear to the ground anchor and they stabilize the wires to root in the ground in a firm state. So finally, come to our the 18th product or our last product, which is the state wear, or we can also call it as the gate wear. So what is state wear or, or gate wear? So basically, uh, these are conductive cables used for stabilizing freestanding structures. So they are also used in our overhead line construction. So um, this is uh, basically uh, the brief introduction of our 18 types of pole line hardware. So if you want to know more, information or you want to see the picture, please uh, to stay tuned for our YouTube channel or you can also to find more information on our website. I'll write up here, that is ttfpower.com. This is our website. So if you are interested in power line hardware or pole line hardware or all the different types of pole line hardware that I just talked about, so you can find all you need in our website. Um, so after all these uh, informations or these three introductions of pole line hardware, I would also like to see 
uh, our final part. So why should we buy the Poland hardware? And what, it, what is the benefit of the Poland hardware? So there's uh, definitely the different reasons. Um, and I just uh, talked about the four points of it. So the first point is for your safety. So quite a good percentage of Poland accessories are specifically used for safety reasons. They are installed to ensure the safety of the people, property, and load that is transmitted through the cables. So how do the electrical pole accessories achieve this safety goal? Well, there are different ways in which the poles achieve this goal. Some overhead pole line hardware ensure that the transmission cable does not touch the ground. In doing so, they protect the people and animals passing by. The other pole line hardware prevents the main cables from getting into contact with each other, hence avoiding unprecedented accidents. So that is the first reason. And that comes uh, to our second reason, that is for efficiency. Some utility pole accessories are mainly for ensuring the power and the signal transmission is done perfectly. There should be no any sorts of mishaps during the transmission. So such pole line hardware ensures that the cable is perfectly supported at the right place and in the desired position. So this protects the signals from the different types of interruptions such as wind, water, among others. At the end of it, the maximum electric current or even communication signals will be channeled through the cables. Without an accessories, you should face different challenges during the transmission. And for the third reason, that will be to facilitate line mass maintenance work. So utility pole hardware makes it easy to do the maintenance practice on the power transmission lines. They compound on the fact that overhead lines always offer better solutions than the underground power transmission lines. So how does the pole line hardware facilitate maintenance activities? And you may be just wondering. And for one, they ensure that the cables are easily accessible. You can easily access the cables whenever you want to do the maintenance. Secondly, the accessories promote safety aspects during the maintenance. And for our last reason, that will be to compliance with governing bodies. So most of the projects that entail the use of pole lines must adhere to the international standards. Some of the standards require that you install quality pole line accessories. So for uh, in this part, in this aspect, our TTF power system uh, do have the qualification um, to make the pole line hardware or other power line hardware in compliance with international standards. So you don't want to uh, complete our project only to be informed later on that is not in compliance with international regulations. So that means you have to be very careful when choosing your suppliers of the pole line hardware, but we can meet your needs. Uh, you have my word, I just make a promise. And once you install the right accessories, you can have peace of mind that everything regarding your project has been correctly. So that is the four reasons um, of why you should buy the Poland hardware and how to choose your suppliers and its benefits. So that's all the content of my today's live streaming. So I will have a very quick review. So at the beginning, I talk about what is Poline hardware. And the second thing I talk about is application and usage of the Poline hardware. And 
for the third part, I talk about the different types of the Poline hardware. I talk about the 18 types of Poline hardware, and here is our website. You can find all the content that I talk about in our website. And you can also subscribe our YouTube channel, so we will upload more videos and live streaming shows in the future. So please stay tuned. And for the last part, I talk about why we should buy the Poline hardware and its benefits. So this is the four parts of my today's live streaming show. Uh, and I'm here to say goodbye to all you guys. Uh, and I also want to see one more time, subscribe us. And I wish all you have a good day and uh, whether you have a good study or you have a good work. So that's all my best wishes for all you, all, all you guys. And so bye-bye, I'm end up here. So I want to see you next time, bye-bye.